what women leaders who break barriers do. They have a deep and abiding faith in God. Do you? They believe in themselves. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All things, not some things, not a few things, but all things. After the belief comes the planning phase. They are strategic. They know the terrain they're going into. They look out for the obstacles even before they get there and they plan for it. They do not set desperate goals. They step out of the moment, far away from all the influences of the world, including the socials. With a clear head, they meditate on what they want to achieve, else they get entangled in their desperate goals. They understand the psychology of men. To be able to be a power with our allies and to do point number five above in order to maximize your potential at the highest level, you need to understand the psychology of men. They are persistent. If you're strong-willed about something, do not let messages discourage you. Be a woman of your own mind. They are principled and they are bad by their principles. This doesn't only benefit them, it also benefits every woman around them and the younger generation. A lady goes in for her dream job interview and after the interview, the boss says, You are poised and your CV is laudable. But to get the job, you will have to, you know, with me. Even the finance manager here did the same. Ask her, it's your call. What's up with you, girl? You just made me lose a dream job, all because of your lack of self-control around your boss. Your lack of money, position, and fame has caused all the young ladies at the workplace to suffer. Now he thinks all ladies are the same. Damn, girl, you need Jesus, and that's some period. Mm. Your desperation can affect the unborn generation. Be careful. They are like that sponge that is able to absorb all negative situations and emit positive vibes. They leverage on each other's strength. If we work together, we achieve more together. They collaborate with men and this is because they understand that men aren't their enemies but men are their allies. It's time to stop questioning the social structures that put that law. It's time to break the barriers and foster more collaboration between men and women. Let's collaborate more. Last words. Irrespective of your place and your position in the society, when you carry the potential of power, you will walk through life like a queen. You see, people recognize the effectiveness and the value that you add to humanity, hence you command respect. Now listen to this. The only person that you are allowed to compare yourself to is the person that you were yesterday. Now walk into the pages of history because you got this.